Alright guys, what is happening? It's Jacob here. Uh, it's Wednesday today, I haven't actually picked up the camera in a few days. Um, tomorrow I actually leave Christchurch, so my holiday's over. Now, this video is just going to be a quick update on everything, how things are going. I've just finished uh, biceps and shoulders. So after my little episode earlier on in this holiday that you guys saw, uh, you know, lack of motivation, etc. I, I got in, I did, you know, a few good hard heavy sessions made myself hit PBs if not if not weight PBs I made myself hit volume PBs so you know I, I forced myself to progressive progressively overload and that's what you need to do to build muscle so uh, <laughs> I went and caught up with my mate Adam and a few others on Saturday night and that was my third night binge drinking well third Saturday night binge drinking in a row and if you followed me for any length of time, you know that that really just does not happen. Uh, but but what, I, what I did do is, is have a great time. And you know, <laughs> if, if I wasn't drinking around, around them, it, it definitely wouldn't be the same. So you know, there is a time and place, uh, but it's not all the time. But anyways, today's Wednesday, Wednesday night. I've got my last catch up with the uh, family tonight. I've been staying with my dad most of the time. Last, last clip you saw was probably in Littleton, staying with my mum. Uh, since then I've gone back to my dad's place and I've stayed there the last few nights of my holiday. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been good, man. Obviously I came over here for one particular reason, which was to come and uh, see my dad and uh, make sure he's alright. He's been a bit unwell. Um, things are on the up, so that's cool. Uh, every time I come back to Christchurch, I go and see my nana. She's been a huge part of my life. Um, always supported me with everything, sport, academics, absolutely everything. And she has had dementia um, for the last probably about three, three and a half years and it progressively it gets worse and you know I've come back to Christchurch probably every six to nine months um, and each time I see her it's, it's progressively worse and unfortunately at the moment um, that you know recognition factor has uh, diminished a lot. Um, when you go and see you might be lucky to get a smile and if you get some like anything if they give you anything it's it's it means the world you know because they don't do much um, it's been real interesting because when my nana first went in there it was because she uh, she couldn't live well basically it's a dementia home so there's it's it's actually very similar to the place that I work um, in that my clients you know if they could get out they'd get themselves into trouble or they'd, they'd get hurt or something because my nana would um, forget where she was and she'd go walking in the middle of the night like into busy roads and shit like that so that was why she had to be put into a home like this and it's specific for people with dementia all, all different levels and unfortunately she went in there she was actually one of the you know one of the liveliest and bounciest she, she knew how I was until about probably about six months ago properly and then she started calling me like different names and things like that and now um, yeah, she's she's pretty much non-verbal uh, most of the time, and you, you get the picture. Anyways, went in to see her for the last time today. Uh, well, for the last time of this holiday. But honestly, um, the the lady pulled myself and my dad aside, and obviously my dad's not the best at the moment. So if she was to pass away, you know that'd be devastating for him, and I might even be coming back uh, sooner than I thought. But hopefully, she 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 hangs on, man, because he's. Yeah, he doesn't need that, and I don't need that. I mean, that would be hard on me, let alone my dad. So, but yeah, she's she's 94, so it's a fucking good innings. But either way, so seeing her, seeing my auntie and my mum uh, for the last time tonight, and then tomorrow I'm flying off to Melbourne. I've got two nights in Melbourne. I'm going to try and organise some shit to do there. Definitely going to buy some shoes, going to buy some uh, clothes, and hit Doherty's gym. So that should be good. And um, following that, guys. Uh, my final thing that I'll, I'll, I'll talk about is uh, this, alright? You guys know, you may have subscribed to my channel through my video about gyno, um, but yeah, I've suffered from, from gynecomastia since I was about 11, or you know, since I can remember, from about 11 years old, it, it developed and it never went away. So, um, after this holiday in Christchurch, 
I was uh, I was going to go to the Gold Coast and get my gynecomastia sorted. When I rang up about two months ago, they said that they did surgery all the time. They had heaps of you know spots available, and I could get in whenever. So I, I rang up as soon as I got to Christchurch to organise it, and unfortunately the uh, earliest appointment was the 8th of November. And that was when I already had to be back in Alice Springs and back to work. So unfortunately I couldn't do that. So I had a bit of time on my hands. Um, and I am actually going to fly to Bali uh, for a week of self, self, um, for a week of, what, what, what can I call it? Just a week of basically me, without any substances, no alcohol, well actually I might probably will go out a couple of nights, but more important than that actually, no uh, marijuana. Um, I'll talk about that in another video, honestly, but I just need a, a break from it. It's really clouding my uh, you know, goal setting and my, you know, what I really want to do with my life and, and with these next few years coming up because my mind's sort of like really, really scattered at the moment. Um, I've got, you know, I really don't have a path, an exact path or an exact goal that I'm, I'm striving for. I know that, you know, I can put in that effort like I do in the gym, like I do with my diet. Like, you know, if I had something to push for, I can definitely do it. But I, I don't know the exact direction of where I want to go, whether that's trying to get a career in health and fitness, whether that is you know, continuing with mental health and care work and getting a qualification in that. Um, either way, I'm definitely going to have to do some study. You know, I, 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 I attempted a certificate in mental health and I fucked around so much that 18 months came up and um, I, I hadn't finished this, uh, the certificate and another six months was given to me to finish it. I didn't actually do that. So I lost all my money, um, I didn't get the qualification, and now if I want it, I'm gonna to have to start again. So that's an 18 month qualification. As far as uh, the you know, personal training uh, sort of certificate, I think that's a, a six month certificate. And you know, I, I've been, I've really been thinking about coming back to Christchurch and attending the campus here at, at the um, New Zealand Institute of Sport and doing my personal training certificate through them. Um, you know, it's still, it's about three grand, it's not a huge cost, but it's six months of, of going into campus. I don't think it's every day, but um, yeah, it's probably between part-time and full-time study, but yeah, for six months you go in there and you're on campus, you know, you live that campus life, you're, you're, you're networking with people in the same industry and with people who, who want to do the same sort of thing as you. Um, and, and I think that's priceless, you know, I haven't really been surrounded by that yet and I think I'd really, I'd, I'd be in my element to be honest, like health and nutrition, weight loss, muscle gain, um, flexible dieting, all of that stuff, I really want to give that knowledge to people and, and you know, if I can get paid for it as well, that would be the ultimate thing. So I really do think that I do want to change my career path but I just need to, you know, I've got two properties, I need to make sure they're sorted, I can't just quit my job. So there's a, there's a lot of thinking that needs to be done and I'm, you know, I'm going to use this next week in Bali uh, to do that, I think. So that is the plan guys, that's the plan. And yeah, I'm not going to film in Bali. I'm just going to get a nice hotel, probably relax the first couple of days, get you know, in tune with, with myself and with what I really want to do with my emotions, with my mental space. Uh, Spirituality is becoming a huge part of my life. I really do believe in spirituality and the benefits of things like meditation and, and you know, the, the never ending journey to find true happiness because definitely happiness doesn't come from money, that's for sure. And it's not gonna come from me having a good body. Um, so I'm currently looking for it inside. And you know, that is the, that's a journey I'm on as well at the moment. So, fuck. <laughs> I think I need to stop talking. I think I need to stop talking, but I hope you guys have really enjoyed the videos that I've put up um, so far. I hope you enjoyed coming back to Christchurch with me. This is my hometown, this is where I was brought up. 
I always love it back here. It's always going to be home. And yeah, hopefully I'll get this sorted as well in the not too distant future and it will be all upwards from there. So with that being said, yes I do say with that being said a hell of a lot so I'm really going to try and stop that. But with that being said, have a great night guys. I'm going to say goodbye to my family, it's never easy. And then we'll be off to Melbourne for a couple of nights and then off to Bali. So if you do see any videos following this one, they're actually going to be videos that I've had uh, in the bank. Rugby videos, I've got a couple of uh, uh, travel vlog videos from Thailand. In fact, I've got, I think it's about eight or nine. So actually following this video, guys, I'm going to release all of my rugby ones. I'm going to release anything I've got in the bank um, as far as like hints, you know, tips, videos. And then I'm going to release all of my Thailand travel vlog videos. And if I've filmed anything in Bali, I'll release the Bali travel vlog videos after the Thailand ones. The Thailand ones are awesome. I mean, if you, know, if you guys don't watch it, me and my sister are going to enjoy watching it because we had a great time together. And um, I think you guys will enjoy it too. So there's probably about eight or nine, like I said, there's fucking heaps, but yeah, it was good. It was good. It was a good time. So anyways, have a great night guys. Peace.